Come see us on tour of me in Tempe, Arizona with a special celebrity guest on that show. Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Hey, man. It's Jeff Bridges. Hey, Jeff Bridges. Always good to hear from you. What's new, Jeff? White guy for Kamala. Uh, not much, man. Just thought I'd check in with you and the whole gang there. Make sure everyone's <laughs> doing okay. That is a, such an amazing impression. Hey, we're, we're doing... <laughs> We're doing very well. Thanks for asking. Far out, man. That's <laughs> fucking great to hear. You know, there's so much negative shit out there, you know. Sometimes <laughs> I feel like I'm fucking going crazy, man. <sighs> I need some positive fucking energy here sometimes. Uh, boy, I, do I know how you feel. Yeah, glad to hear that. <laughs> you know, I always listen to your yeah. show, and it uh, seems like some of these people who call in these uh, political muckety mucks, you know, I hear that, and you just get so angry, man, and it kills me. Yeah. I want my buddy Jimmy to be in a good mood, you know, not be feeling shitty all the time. Ah. Uh, don't worry, I don't feel shitty all the time. I just get very upset when I see the state of politics in this country. Oh, I agree, man. Sometimes I don't think any of these clowns, any of them know what they're doing. So I just think about other stuff. Well, that's great, but I, I don't have the type of brain that allows me to do that. No, oh, I think everyone does. Deep down, I believe everyone has the ability to just think about other shit. <laughs> think about other shit. <laughs> and we can do that together, you and me. I can show you the way, man. Uh, you do know I quit smoking pot, right? Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Uh, that, that's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you don't need drugs to think about other shit. Think about other shit's a state of mind, man. That can be reached, you know, organically. Okay, I'll try it. Far out. <laughs> so let's say you're mad about something. Uh huh. God doesn't want you to be mad. Life is too short for that shit, man. So you think about Moo Dang instead. Moo Dang? Moo Dang, the little baby hippo. God wants you to think about Moo Dang, and that's why she put him on Earth. <laughs> He's a little baby hippo that's taken the internet by storm. He lives in a zoo in Thailand or some shit. Okay. And Jimmy, he's the cutest little goddamn dude in the fucking world. He's always... You haven't seen this? No. He's always... Oh, you gotta see it, man. He's always running around biting people on the knee. He screams a lot. And they spray him with a hose and he goes... Fucking crazy, man. That's okay. It's hilarious. I see. You got to look at this little guy. You got to look him up, man. He'll brighten your day. Fucking Moo Dang. Okay, I'll look up Moo Dang. I'm sure he's adorable, but I don't think I can contemplate a baby hippopotamus long enough to make myself forget what's going on in the world. Oh, come on, man. Are you sure about that? You haven't seen how fat and slippery he is yet. All right. Sorry. What else do you got? Uh, uh, I mean, I think that's all for now. Honestly, I've never dealt with this, man. I don't, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think I've ever vibed with someone who wasn't instantly chilled out by fucking Moo Dang. Well, who are you vibing with? Well, you know, actors. Uh, very, very wealthy actors. Okay, well, that's great. I'm glad you're all so easily entertained. Have you thought about taking up pot again? Sometimes. So, uh, all you have to do is think about Moo Dang and you get relaxed. Well, that and Kamala. Oh, God damn it. What? She's amazing. Oh, She's just this amazing man. woman. Yeah. Of fucking color, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. What uh, what exactly is so amazing about her? <laughs> well, uh I mean, 
you know, she's, uh, she's like, uh, you know, she's not Trump. <laughs> and we've been over this, man. Okay. Anybody, I, I may not be getting mad per se, but this call is definitely bumming me out. The world's a mess. Our country's a mess. There's a genocide happening, and nothing seems to be getting any better. I know how you feel, man. Genocide is a bummer. It's a fucking bummer. But you got to look on the bright side. I was on a pod. <clears throat> I was on a podcast the other day. Uh huh. And I was talking about how when we uh, made Lebowski, I was convinced it was going to be this this huge movie. You know, the Coen brothers, they had just made Fargo, and that did great. Uh, and Lebowski was just as good, and it fucking it bombed at the box office, man. Yeah? And I was fucking bummed out. Just like you and the whole, uh, whole genocide thing. But what I told those podcasters was, you know, guess what happened? Leba it became a cult hit, man. It got super successful on video and uh, DVD and video on demand and uh, DVD on demand, if that, that was ever a thing. <laughs> What's your point? My fucking point is that things get better, <laughs> man. You can't stress about all this shit. <laughs> So because one of your films, which is my all, one of my all-time favorites, had a delayed success in the late 90s, I should stop stressing about literal genocide. Well, I mean, that's not exactly what I said, but yeah! Okay, well, that's a very helpful perspective. I'll keep that in mind moving forward, and I'll use it to talk myself off a ledge when I contemplate the state of the world. That's great, man. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at picking up on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a real breakthrough, man. <laughs> Far fucking out. All right, Jimmy. Love you, brother. Talk to you soon. Bye, Steph and Misha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come see us on tour. We'll be in Tempe, Arizona with a special celebrity guest on that show. Columbus, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Burbank, California. And Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Mm -hmm.